This statue over here is the Sideshow, the thing, premium format. I love this statue. This is a statue that I've had for many years. It's one of the ones that survived the great sell-off, <laughs> as I call it, the great sell-off. And, and um, you know, the great sell-off happens when you have too many and you realize that it's time to let some go. So, you know, let's take a look at this statue. First of all, the box. This box, I think it's like the best box that I've ever seen on a statue. I wish every box was this nice. And I don't understand why so many of the statues have a box where you can't even see the statue. So all you could do is, you know, maybe read the name on the outside and that's it. But I like this because, you know, if this is a statue that was being stored away, you could see what it is without having to open it up. I mean, it's great. It's just, look at that. It's awesome. Awesome box. It's clobber in time, it says back here. It has a story back here, and you could see the thing statue from all sides. So, I mean, I think it's just great. Fantastic. Perfect box. And let's see. Yeah, and then you got this on top. Premium format figure, the thing. I think I'm gonna have to move this box so I can reach the statue and spin it better. But uh, I do wanna just point this out. I like this little drawing over here, you know, the, the artwork. I think that's nice. And it's got that fantastic four or part of it. It's like right here, it looks like. Now this is the statue that does not have the swappable head. It did come with a swappable head version, but this isn't it. And I actually, at the time, I picked this one up because it didn't have the swappable head. And I just, you know, this was my choice of head anyway. I knew that like this one was, you know, this head was going to be attached and I didn't want any seam and this has no seam and I just, I love it. I think it's, um, I, you know, I think it's fantastic. I like that face with the, with that type of lip, you know. I like the eyebrows, I like how it's, well, it's kind of like one big eyebrow, and I like his eyes that they're blue, you know, which of course his eyes are blue, and, um, you know, but like how the eyes look, which might be a little hard to see, there's a good close-up of the face, you can see the eyes, great looking statue. So yeah, so I like, I like the head, I like how it looks. It looks great from so many angles. This statue I don't really think has a height location, so to speak, that really would be best because I like how it looks when I'm standing up, but then I like how it looks when I'm say, you know, down here looking kind of upward. So I think it's really a matter of choice. I think if anything, you know, maybe where I have it you know, on the table, you know, I think that maybe this height would be best. So kind of, you know, a little bit underneath like sitting height on a couch or something like that. I think this would probably be perfect, but I, you know, I just think it looks great. The, um, the back has like a, has like I'm a deeper, um, indent to it. And, you know, some of the, some of the rocks are a little bit more elevated and there's some like, um, extra spacing in between them to kind of create that sense of like the rocks are, you know, bending and folding a little bit. And I, I do appreciate how it looks pretty much everywhere because looking at it, you know, the rocks are very uniform. I'm, I don't really look at the statue and think that they did a better job in a certain location because I think it just looks great everywhere. It really does. The hands look nice. The hands look a little bit different from the rest. I like the knuckles. Um, you could see over here maybe that there's a little bit of extra, you know, rocks sticking out. Great looking statue. Um, you know, this because it is the premium format this is the one that came with real clothes real material so you know i realize that that's not everyone's taste 
you know, I was kind of like on the fence about it when I first saw these statues coming out. But then I was like, all right, you know, I mean, if that's what they're giving us, <laughs> you know, if that's what they're giving us, I'll take it. So that was kind of my thought with it. The base, the base of the statue, you know, it's, it's okay. I, I don't really feel any differently about it than I do a lot of statues. It, you know, it kind of has a nice texture to it, but it, it, you know, it's nothing too extreme. It looks like, you know, probably fighting in the street and kind of like, you know, the normal road, like, you know, like uh, the blacktop or, you know, whatever type of cement that it is. Um, it has some nice cracks. Pretty much everything, you know, with this statue is up here. And I, I actually should point out that this statue is very heavy, really heavy. And so is the base. It's amazing because it's so much heavier. I mean, it, it's not as big or as thick looking as the statue that I have of the rhino. But it's so much heavier. And this one is actually even heavier than the Hulk statue that I have, uh, the Avengers version. Uh, the Avengers Assemble version, should I say. I think probably the last thing to point out would be the feet. You know, this I like. I like how the bottom of the foot looks. I like kind of like how they put a seam around it to kind of separate, you know, the bottoms of the feet from the sides. Um, the toes are nice looking, the way the rocks have the lines and, and the dents in them. I mean, overall, I really appreciate this statue. I like it. I think that it looks great. 